Welcome to part 3. Let's get started working on our CSS file. So the first thing I want to do is a couple general styles. So I'm going to add body, um, and I'll add font family Arial. I'll add a background of a very light gray. And I'll add a margin of zero, padding. I'll give it a six pixels upper padding, and then zeros for the rest. And I'll default it to a 13 pixel font size. Now below the body, I usually like setting the margins on paragraph tags. So I'm going to do that here, margin, and I'm going to set it to uh, 16 pixels top and bottom, and 0 left and right. And then let me include styles for elements within the page. So the first one is wrapper. Um, it has a width of 900 pixels and a padding of 20 pixels. I'm going to give it a white background. And I'm going to use margin zero auto to center this uh, wrapper in the center of the page. And I'll add a border top of three pixels solid black. And I guess the other last thing I should do is just make sure there's a little bit of bottom margin on the page. I usually don't like it when the page cuts off very abruptly. So I'm going to modify this element. Um, so zero top margin, auto right margin, 20 pixels bottom margin, and auto left margin. So there you go. And uh, within the wrapper we have an h1 tag. And I'm just going to add um, margin top is zero because there's a default margin that's on h1 elements. And I'm going to add a padding left of 20 pixels. And uh, below the H1 is the banner. And I'm going to leave that alone for now, but I have to come back and edit this in a couple minutes. I just need to show you what I need to add. But uh, below the banner is the nav. <clears throat> and I'm going to add uh, margin zero. Padding zero. The style of none, because we don't want the list items within it to have any bullets or anything like that. Background of light gray. A width of 900 pixels. And overflow hidden. And this will make sure that it contains the elements within nav correctly. So within nav, I have a couple list items. And those list items will all be floated left. And within those list items, we have A tags. And we want to float those left as well. And uh, let's add a couple bits of additional styling here. Um, add some padding. I'm going to do uh, 10 pixels above and 20 pixels left and right. Or, so 10 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. A display block. So these link items expand to uh, contain the padding fully. A border right. One pixel solid gray. And this will just add a little bit of a divider element between the nav items. Background of a light gray, font size of 12 pixels, font weight a bold, and text decoration none. So uh, my apologies if I'm going a little bit fast here, but uh, most of this stuff should be pretty self-explanatory, and you can always pause the video and catch up if you need to. Um, so, just a couple more CSS styles I need to add. Um, I also want to add a hover style to the navigation. So, nav li a hover. I'm just going to change the background color. I'm going to change it to a slightly darker gray. 
Okay, so navigation is set. Um, let's add a couple styles for the content. I'm gonna add a minimum height of 300 pixels, just so that we have some sort of page, even if there's very little content on that page, as a, a minimum height set. Uh, padding of zero top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right and an overflow hidden, and this will contain our floated elements. Within content, I have a left, which I'm going to float left. And I'm going to give it a padding of 20 pixels, top and bottom, and zero pixels left and right. And this too, I'm going to give a min height of 300 pixels. And content dot right, Almost the same thing except float right. Um, oh, I uh, missed an important declaration up above. We need to add a width of 630 pixels to dot left. And for uh, the dot right, we also need to add a width of 200 pixels. Like I said, that's going to float right. Um, margin top. We're going to add a margin top of 62 pixels and padding of zero. And the margin top is to adjust for the H2 tag that we have on our test page, this. So it moves things down so this text lines up with the text here. And uh, we're almost done here. So footer, we want to make sure that clears any floated elements. And text line center, font size of 11 pixels, just to make things small. Padding top of 20 pixels, and finally, a border top, one pixel, solid, and a light gray. So let me save this, and let's do a quick preview of test. Um, there we go. So this is what it looks like so far, and pretty basic. Um, let me just tweak two things. Uh, first of all, I mentioned that I needed to add some styling to the banner, and you'll notice there's a bit of a white gap here between the banner and the navigation. And that can be fixed by adding a line height of zero and a font size of one pixel. There we go, so that moves things up correctly. And the last thing that I wanted to do is within our navigation, um, it looks like we need to set a text color. Um, so color, I'm just going to set it to black. There we go. So um, just over the last video, we've created a basic HTML and CSS based page. Um, nothing super fancy here, but this will give us the website that we need to work with. Um, we're going to go ahead and convert these text here blocks to actual editable text using the content management system.